All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hatiful Boyfriend. Uh, now, this is a game that was suggested to me by somebody uh, who thought it would be pretty funny to watch me bumble my way through this. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, essentially, this is a game, as you can probably tell by the title screen, uh, where you date birds. It's a dating sim with birds. Ridiculous, yes. Funny, yes. But, let's start this, shall we? Okay. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. First name, Hiyoko. Nah. Oh. Oh, I can't spell. There we go. Tosaka. Nah, I'm not gonna put my real last name, so... Awesome. Yes. Is Eddie awesome okay? Okay. It's better than okay. <laughs> Hotful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Do I want to see what they look like as humans first? Or do I just want to jump into straight pigeonhood? You know what, let's see what they look like as humans first. And then we'll actually see the pigeonness. Um, hopefully they don't stay humans, because then that defeats the whole purpose. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with ex extensive curricular and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I probably say, I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, and even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and students' body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. But not every day I see you rush along like this. Oh man, Ryota! It's a pigeon. Usually you'd have been ready for class by, uh, uh, been ready for an hour by now, Eddie. Blah, 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 blah. This is gonna go very well with, uh, reading off. Overslept. Uh, no, not really. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but... I was not expecting that. I was really expecting like an actual human's face, not a uh, an anime picture. This this is uh, fantastic. This rock dove is named Kawara, Kawara, Kawara. Yota, we've been friends since he was barely hatched. That's kind of interesting. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. I wonder about that. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. You're a pigeon. First off, how do you cook? Secondly, um... Actually, I know how you can make me breakfast. <laughs> I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Yota! Oh, bell's ringing. Where's my bread? I need my toast. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do 
to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Hatiful Boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. Oh man, I'm going to go through all the terms. Oh, I bet I'm going to be get getting like quizzed on and everything. That's kind of scary, actually. Pigeon. I think we're in 2-3. Yota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. <laughs> I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, the pun. Good morning, everybody! Er, uh, uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I don't know if seems the good word there. You don't. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. <laughs> what other things? Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, he fell asleep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? <gasps> I love these! Oh, it's a quail. This quail is Nanaki this, uh, Kazu, uh, Kazuaki. He's a famously... Uh, my reading skills can get tested here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> Give up there. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please, introduce yourself, Shirogane. I think you just pretty much introduced the white peacock. <laughs> oh, the super fancy music jumping in. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into gluks and dysenters. Oh man, they're really testing me. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <laughs> Shirogane Lebel Sakuya. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that one does not surprise me at all. <laughs> it seems this fan tail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Oh, I don't know if I can stand this for much longer. <laughs> this is getting bad. He's pretty stuck up, but then... Transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Ugh. Sakuya sits down. A glaring dag is at Ryoma and me. Or Ryota, not Ryoma. I think this little bird is telling me there's gonna be trouble down the line. Let's fight. Uh, lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Normally you get billed for them at that point. Where is everyone? Oh no, oh, never mind. I was about to say, thank god there's no pun, but... Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here! Oh, um, it gets even more painful every time I say it. Is someone looking at me? 
probably just my imagination. Nope. It's a morning dove. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. They are! I actually raised one once. I, uh, uh, found one up at the, the park that I work, and, uh, it was a little tiny baby. It was just hatched, pretty much, had its pin feathers still, and, uh, I raised him up. It was good times, good times. Um, did you want something from me? Snake! <laughs> uh, he looked away. Oh, excuse me, hold on, I gotta think it. There we go. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Oh, the books. He glances at the desk. Wait. That shouldn't be in quotation marks. Just the, the... Or, yeah. He glances at the desk, as if to say, Hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. <laughs> I'm so glad they reversed it. <laughs> I'm awesome, Eddie. A sophomore. What about you? Y you're... Nageki. Fujishiro Nageki. Freshman. Huh. Wujishiro Nagagi, Nagaki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. That's a good that's a good commentary on your life. <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait. Isn't that Ugh. Oh no, they're gonna fight. Throw down. Bird fight. Mm. Uh you should have or <clears throat> you should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of what kind of thing is it is that to say to your own brother? After all these years. Oh. Wow. Wow. I like how the music's getting like super. My brother, you must be joking. I've you've never once been a brother to me. Please. Don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, Jester. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. <laughs> I had it meant to eavesdrop. But, I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Snake! You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Ah, uh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> -ha. no sweats. <laughs> I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. 
Oh, that's not the picture I was expecting for him. This fantail pigeon is Sazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody nerds hit a nose of him. You're Eddie, right? How, how did you know? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a ra rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon ami, adieu. Oh god, he's French. Uh, my game decided to minimize him. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. <clears throat> That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs> Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see and uh, go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Yurta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. He ate bread. He gon' pop. Or no, rice. Rice makes a pop. Excuse me. No birdie. Oh god. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping. Behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter- <laughs> My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Uh, Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? Alright. It's quite quiet. Kind of weird. I feel a little nervous poking around in the empty room. Oh, wait. Is this where the, like, crazy stalker murderer bird comes in? That'd be fun. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of, <laughs> they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. What do these even do? Care to find out? Oh. That's- Oh my god! <laughs> that is a fat pigeon. The, 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 the doctor I'll feed you- <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh man. <laughs> the music in this really sets the mood. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm. No thank you. Oh, he does look creepy. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school's doctor. <laughs> He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with F. Nope, nope. Or even worse thing. I don't, I'm not even gonna... I'm just gonna say this now. I'm not really trying for these, but uh, I could read them if I wanted to. If I wanted to. And I never even heard him come in the door. <laughs> Ninja Doctor? <gasps> you don't look like you have. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. 
Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why is the music getting louder? Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, <laughs> uh, finally out of that den of evil. Yota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. <sighs> Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my opinion options. I think there's clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. <laughs> well, first off, how does a bird do kendo? That just sounds funny to me. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. <laughs> I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god, please tell me he's just gonna talk in coos. Cool, cool! This is no put pudding for a man. Oh god. Cool! Oko-san rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. <laughs> He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. <laughs> he doesn't even have the. He's just a pigeon or an, uh, just a dove. Oh my god. Uh, but you said a dove. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a fan-tailed, uh, fan-tailed pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Cool! Okosan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Okay. But this is no pudding. Oust! Scorned! Betrayed! Dragged into this street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squishy and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jests, young lady. A young lady? Why, thank you. I am... Quite the beautiful young lady. <laughs> Uncle Sen used wing. Oh my god, wing attack! It's super effective. Pokemon reference, yeah! Oh, I'm gonna get taken down for that. Don't sue me, Pokemon, please. Uh, cool. They'll rue the day they crossed Uncle Sen. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Oh my god. Koo! I'm just gonna keep saying Koo. <laughs> Okosan must now train to achieve, achieve true pudding. Farewell! That's like a rod, road runner. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? <laughs> I don't know what I have to do with this game. <laughs> and so ended, ended the first day of my second semester of fake pigeonation. Okay. Okay, so I think that's a good stopping point right here. I'm pretty sure I got introduced to um, almost, if not all, the characters. So uh, we, we'll uh, we might continue this off on another episode. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching, and uh, if you like the video, be sure to click the buttons. You know what to do. You've heard it like 400,000 times. All right. Bye. Bye. Words, this game has tried. Oh God. <laughs>